Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We got ourselves a nice fresh case of Mountain Dew waiting for us in the fridge. Nice warm shop. Today, we're pulling the motor. Alrighty, so I really didn't want to pull this motor, but I was thinking about it and that cam bearing being bad. I'm just gonna take the time to take the headers and uh, spark plugs out, pull the oil pressure line, take the six bell housing bolts and the three torque converter bolts out and just pull the motor out. It's gonna be that much more simple to just pull the motor out, replace the cam bearings, then I can clean up the motor, then I can paint it all nice and it'll look nice on top of it. And we'll do just a quick refresh on it and we'll get this thing back in here. So. And that'll be okay, because while I'm waiting for parts, I can do all this stuff, and it should should work out just right that by the time the parts get here, we'll be ready to put this thing back together. So that being said, let's get to it. I got the truck up in the air, pulled the motor mount bolts out. I just got to do a torque converter and bell housing bolts, and this sucker's ready to come out. The headers are out, everything else is out. So we'll pull it out, we'll get her cleaned up, and maybe we'll even get her painted today. That's what I'm hoping to do. So let's get to it and get this sucker out. Sorry I didn't record or do a time lapse of pulling the motor out, kind of busy, dad was helping me do it. But now I got the motor over here, I'm going to take my cup of gas and wire brush trick and scrub it all down, get it as clean as I can, take the motor mounts off, get it really clean, prep all the surfaces so I can get it ready for the cam and, and everything else that I got coming for it. Sorry, I haven't been taking a lot of time lapse on this one. Um, it's just, I'm trying to get it done. Got a little busy on it, but I basically been cleaning it with gas and a wire brush, scraping the gasket surfaces. So kind of boring, but you'll see a little bit of that here and there in the video anyway. So now I'm just gonna clean out the intake where I scrape the gasket surfaces, clean off the front of the motor, and then we'll flip her upside down and start preparing that for the new oil pump. Well guys, we're kind of jumping ahead in this video. Sorry I couldn't film as much as I could. Things just got really busy. It's one of those days. 
I'm trying to get things done. Um, I have a life too, so uh, I want to clean this up a little bit, maybe put undercoating on it. Uh, I want to finish cleaning this up, get all the gasket material off of it and stuff. I got a new, I just picked up a new water pump and some more orange paint, so I want to paint the water pump. Um, what else did I pick up? I picked up some other stuff for the motor build, so I want to work on that kind of stuff, so I guess. Whatever I decide to do first is what you guys are going to see. I'll probably throw you on quite a bit of time lapse. But when I'm doing the things, if I run into things, I'll obviously, you know, inform you guys. So let's get to it. I don't know where I'm going to start, but let's get to it and start getting this thing prepared for all my parts when they come in. All right, guys, I just want to start by saying, no, I'm not sponsored. I don't do any of that kind of stuff. Icon Tools makes this really nice blade holder. Man, this thing works really good for scraping surfaces, especially on the oil pan. Like, I'll just run a fresh blade right across the oil pan rail. Now, it looked pretty clean. Look at the crap it picked up. Works really good for scraping gaskets off. I used it up here on the timing cover, as well as the oil pan uh, rail. I'm going to get this stuff cleaned up. I'll get my debris cleaned off of here. I'll clean out any debris that maybe fell in the cylinders. I'll kind of wash this with some brake clean. While some of my stuff is drying here, I want to talk to you guys about this paint by Rust-Oleum High Heat. It's commonly referred to as, or commonly known as, the grill paint in automotive industry. The grill paint by Rust-Oleum. This stuff is the best stuff in the world. My stuff is drying right now, so it looks a little glossy. But when it's done, it'll look like up here, where it's flat. It reminds me of an undercoating, but I mean, it dries fast. I, pa I painted this about 10 minutes ago, and it's starting to all dry already. It gets flat black like that. I take and I paint all my alternator brackets. Um, my power steering pump bracket here will come off and be painted black. I paint all that stuff, this, this grill paint. It's the best stuff in the world. Eventually, I'm going to take and do this top piece here. It will be black too. Um, inner fenders, I'm not going to do. I'll leave them alone. I did do a little bit over there where someone had like an auxiliary battery tray of some kind. But other than that, I won't touch it. But it just makes it look a lot cleaner. I don't want to say this in a bad way, but it hides a lot of imperfections. As in like, I don't know. This isn't perfect underneath here. You could you could probably tell I didn't really pressure wash this or anything. It's not perfect. It just makes it look nice even if it isn't perfect. I mean, I would still probably use it on a lot of nice things because I just like the color and how fast it dries and, and stuff like that. But when you're just, you know, touching things up, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this. Uh, it's still drying. But it just, like, it makes a frame, makes the underneath, makes everything just look a whole lot better. So that's some really good stuff if you didn't know that. So I guess that's kind of my quick tip in this video. But other than that, I'm going to get to that. I'm going to start taping this thing off now that it's dried up. I'm just, for the intake and valve covers, I'm just going to set an old intake and valve cover on here for the bottom. I'm going to uh, tape the rail and then hold a piece of cardboard so it doesn't get the crankshaft or anything like that. And I'll kind of light first coat on here, uh, nothing too fancy. I'll tape off the fuel pump. Or I might just throw an old one on there. I might have an old one under the bench to just throw on there for now with some different bolts. Dipstick I'll tape off too. But other than that, oh, and a thermostat probe. I'll, 
I'll tape the thermostat probe off. So I'm gonna touch this up. I'll put you on time lapse. I know I've kind of been missing a little bit here and there. I really do apologize. I'm trying to get better at this, but sometimes you just gotta get things done. I know it would have just took a few seconds to put the camera on time lapse to pull the engine out, but I forgot I was trying to get things done. I had help. I just utilized my help while I had it. So it's all right. I'll try and get a little better at it. I'll make sure you guys can uh, see what I got going on here. So I'm going to get the masking that thing off and touching that up. I'll finish giving the water pump and the motor mount some coat. Um, when the motor mounts are done and dry, I'll show you what those look like just to give you another example. But other than that, we'll be painting up the block now. I threw the old timing cover intake and some old valve covers on just for now so I don't get paint in the important areas. I'm going to give this thing a first coat on the top half of the motor. Then I'll uh, flip it over and we'll do the second half after the top half is done. So let's get to it. While well, that's drying, I'm gonna show you guys the motor mounts. They're dry. Come over here and check them out. Look at that nice finish it puts on them. puts a, puts such a nice finish on them for just you know rattle canning them. That'll look nice underneath there. Now I gotta come over here and do this one, the power steering bracket. Uh, water pump is drying. That orange takes quite a bit to dry, so that'll take a while to dry while I'm uh, wrapping up some other stuff. So, how's this doing? Oh, this looks like it's starting to dry. Yeah, that's gonna look so much better once it dries, so. That's cool. Nice and slick. So, all right, it looks like we'll let this thing dry for a little bit. Then I'll come back and give this thing a couple more coats. Then we'll get her uh, kind of tilted on her side so we can do the block and So here we have the intake that I'll be using on the small block Chevy for the C20. Now, I have a genuine question for you guys. Leave it raw aluminum or paint it orange to match? The oil pan, timing cover, and valve covers will all be orange along with the block. Um, and it'll have the Edelbrock carburetor and the stainless steel header. So what do you think we should do? Leave it raw aluminum and give it kind of more of that sporty look? Or paint it orange and kind of make it more of a sleeper look? I don't know, this truck being kind of like a farm truck look, I'm thinking orange, but I'm leaving this one up to you guys. Whatever the comments say, the more orange, then it'll be orange. The more aluminum, then it'll be aluminum. But leave a comment. Well, guys, I think that ought to be it for today. I know I kind of jumped around, um, but I got the motor painted. Looks pretty slick. Um, like I said, please comment. Raw aluminum or orange intake, let me know. I'm leaving it up to you guys but other than that i apologize that i couldn't show you guys taking the motor out kind of talked about it but not really show anything as far as what i got coming for this motor i got a high volume high pressure oil pump i have a cam um i do have cam bearings coming but i don't know if i'm going to use them yet i have a new timing chain set um new valve springs for it too as long as i got it out i figure i'll do valve springs um trying to all think here what i got going 
other than that i think that's about it i might do the cam bearings as long as the motor is out so um yeah i guess that's pretty much it i do have or i am going to use these valve covers and timing cover and then i have the oil pan up on the shelf there that oil pan is for this motor i have the water pump over here drying still and i have the motor mounts over there drying with that grill paint i showed you guys earlier so i guess that's a wrap for today i hope it doesn't bore you guys too bad please comment on raw aluminum or orange um tell me what you think of the engine bay too uh, what do you think of that grill paint if you want to call it that um and let me know what you think in general you know do you like my style of videos um i know i gotta improve on showing everything but uh other than that tell me what you think be honest i, I like hearing feedback i like i'd like to improve to you for you guys I'd like to show you guys some things teach you guys some things if i can you know so just let me know but enough with the talking enough with the nonsense please subscribe please like there's plenty more content to come we got to put this thing back together we got to put that thing back together there's a lot more to come oh trust me there's a lot more to come so please subscribe please comment that'll be it for today's video see you in the next one